Good morning. Good morning, friends. We are, um, we're rainy today. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if, I guess, a storm front blew through. We got no idea. Yeah. I mean, we don't have self-service, so we don't know so what's we're going in on. The Bay of L.A., and it's a 40-mile drive through the desert, from the desert, to the coastline. It's still in the desert, so we're getting rain from somewhere. Don't totally understand it. I do know there's a tropical storm that was off way off the south uh, of Cabo uh, San Lucas, but I doubt this is coming from that. I mean, mm -hmm. we're so far away from that. So it is a rainy day. It's kind of our sign that it's time to go. Yeah. Yesterday, so. the wind kicked up like crazy and we were yeah. like, yeah, if it stays like this, it's yeah, just not it going to be fun anymore. So. so we are going to make today a travel day and an errand day. Yeah, our caravan from the day before or from a couple days ago has split off and we're with Scott and Melissa and their two boys and we're just kind of making our way south. I guess they have until Christmas to be back in Arizona. Yeah, so, they've so got, we might hang out for a little while. Yeah, they got plenty of time to slow roll down and that's kind of what we're doing. So we are going to roll out together. We got to empty our tanks and fill up our tanks. We've been mm -hmm. boondocking these last couple days. And then we are going to get uh, some fuel and just do, you know, um, I think they need propane as well. They had a propane leak earlier when we got here. So, so we're going to get all that taken care of. Um, maybe even laundry, who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And that will be in Guerrero Negro. In Guerrero Negro. Yep. So we are so. zigzagging across the peninsula today, heading from the east side to the west side. And then, um, from there, we're going to figure out whether we stay in Guerrero Negro tonight or possibly push on to the tiny little village of San Ignacio. It's supposed to be very beautiful. Either today and camp out today or first thing tomorrow. That's the plan. Of course, you know, plans are always, 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 <laughs> always subject to change. But, um... We'll take you with us. What she said. <laughs> I don't think you can see right now um, because it's blown out in the background, so I'll show you. But Here. kind of looks... Can you kind of see it? Kind of looks like we're on a boat, doesn't it? Are we on a boat, Lindsay? I'm on a boat. You don't even know that song. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You're like three years old when it came out. So if it looks like we're on a boat, we're not actually on a boat. We are camped right up next to the water. The high tide. Yeah. Hello, high tide. This is the not quite as beautiful as it's been in the past Bay of LA. Can't see the mountains anymore. Can't see the mountains. Can see a bird flying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad to leave this place. Yeah, it's been really nice. The great yes. news is we get to come back. Yes. God willing. Yeah, that'd be fun, yeah. Yeah. We'd need our, to come back. Well, on our way sure. back north, this will be a place we definitely yeah. I'd say a week of just Yeah, we really loved it here. And it's been free. Camping for free. Yeah. Um, and there's ugh. It's safe, there's other campers, but you're not next to each other. You're spread out along a couple miles of beach, and mm -hmm. it is I would gorgeous. not camp here if you were the only camper, though, because you never know. Make sure there's someone else, yep. and you should be okay. But you can't forget the name La Gringa, <laughs> which is... Gringo. The female version the of female Gringo. The female version of Gringo. <laughs> so, we're going to leave this beautiful place behind for the time being, but we're going to bring you back here. In a couple months, God willing, everything goes as we think it will go. When we work our way back up here, we will spend, I would say, a week. And I will have a fishing pole at that time. <laughs> yeah. Scott and Melissa and the kids have fishing poles, and it's been fun to watch them fish and catch yeah. stuff. So we will have our own fishing poles at that point. I hope so. I have poles. No, I have... Well, we have reels. I have reels, but our poles kind of got smashed by our camper at one point. Yeah, they broke. So we'll, we'll fix that before we get back. So on your way to La Gringa, or on your way back to town, there's a, uh, a gentleman who bakes pizzas and has a bakery. Not open every day, but um, he is open for the bakery on Wednesday. He bakes on Tuesday night. And so we were going to stop by on our way out of town. And uh, he already sent all of his food into town. So we're going to go back into town. We have to stop for gas anyway, and we'll pick up some stuff in the bakery. The calabaza, pumpkin pie, pumpkin. Uh huh. And strudel de manzana, pick and roll. The today fresh. Mm. And uh, 
crema y fresa. Strawberry cream. We got one. And piña. Pineapple. Yeah. And fruto de manzana. Apple. Thank you. Mermaid. I'm like, well, that's not the place. What you got there? We've got pastries that I've already half eaten. <laughs> what kind of pastry? This is raspberry and cream. Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. What else is in the bag? Mm. Do I got something in the bag? Mm -hmm. I got something in the bag. Got peanut butter cookies. Ooh, I got peanut butter cookies. We got cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Fresh mm. made cinnamon roll. And we got pecan. I wonder if we'll just keep that cinnamon roll out. We got pecan rolls. Pecan or pecan? <laughs> how, how are you going to say it? Pecan rolls. Pecan. We're from the <laughs> south, Lindsay. It's pecan. Pecan. As soon as Lindsay gets finished with this, we're going to head out to Guerrero Negro. And we're going to run some errands out there. So we're going to enjoy our breakfast now. Is it pecan or is it pecan? Mm. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's not pecan or no. pecan. My brother's. Whatever it's called, it's delicious. Somewhere in the desert outside the Bay of LA, we discovered Dr. Seuss and all of his inspiration among the cactus with flowers on the top. So we're 80 kilometers from Guerrero Negro, and I am driving like a bat out of hell because there's a truck behind us, and I don't want to get passed by him, so I'm going to go faster than him. That's my strategy. Don't get passed by a truck on the one. Good strategy? Good strategy, yes. All right. Dangerous curves. Muy dangerous. We have made it to Guerrero Negro. Oh look, there's a whale skeleton. Finally have phone service back. Woohoo! And uh, looks like a pretty interesting place. I like it so far. You so. haven't seen any of it. I haven't Except seen any, and we've just seen the beginning. Black topes. That yes, the their ground. topes are not painted. We finally reached the land of topes. We haven't seen very many topes. Everybody warned us topes. about topes, but we've only seen like a couple. That wasn't even there. a tope. I know they try to they trick you. They put a sign where there was no they tope. They trick you. They got me. Escúchame, baja. No trick. Don't trick. put a sign where there's no topes. Bienvenidos a Baja California, sir. Not much here. We had a pretty entrance. But... We're not in the town yet. That was all. The oh, that was just like a... immigration stuff. Yeah. Ooh, Laguna San Ignacio. And special. Let's see if they spray our truck. Say no necesito. No necesito. Apparently there's a stop here. They only do it the tourists. They spray your truck and they demand 20 pesos. Which is only like a dollar. But still, I don't know if I want my truck sprayed with some chemical. I don't know what it is. It could just be water. Who knows? I don't know. So let's find out. Uh, where? From uh, Bay de Los Angeles. Where are you going? To Guerrero Negro. Okay, you only pay 20 pesos? I don't need it. So everybody pay. I'm sorry? Yeah, everybody pay. Everybody pay. Everybody gets ripped off. <laughs> it's 
17, 18, 19, 20. Ever since. No. Get back. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you, good luck. I'll pay for my friends too. Good luck. So I got, uh, at least I got a piece of paper out of it. I think that when we come back through, we show that to them. Yeah. And then we don't need it. So I paid a guy to do absolutely nothing <laughs> at an inspection station. And then he gives me a receipt to show that he did absolutely nothing <laughs> at the inspection station. I mean, oh, there goes your coffee. Yep. So is that it? So yep, that was 20 it. pesos for nothing. 20 pesos for nada. 20 pesos for nada. 20 pesos for nada. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Oh well. When in Rome, pay the Romans. We've done our stops in Guerrero Negro and run our errands and now we are trying to get out of this town and it is pot holy it's a pot holy town yeah guerrero it's negro is pot holy just a sample a preview lots of dirt lots of trash we will be coming back here on our way north and we'll stay a little bit but we're going to be out of town when we do that quite a ways so we are on our way toward San Ignacio, and we're racing daylight. So hopefully we'll get there before the sun goes down, or at least not too long thereafter. Heading back out on the one. Drive at night. Rule number three is when you come to Baja, you don't drive at night. 
so we're breaking rule number one, two, and three <laughs> for us and for you when you start making your travel plans with Bob. Don't drive at night. Well, it's dark out, and wouldn't you know it, we pull into a military checkpoint, and they search us top to bottom. Yep, took so, things out. I feel violated. <laughs> I do. They were nice, but it was like, out of all the military checkpoints, all the ones that they just wave us right on through, this is the one where they stop and check everything. Yeah, so we're now definitely in the dark. Driving in the dark. But we can see San Ignacio from here. Yeah. It's just. But the cows had already come out to party just yeah. in the last 20 minutes. We couldn't get it on camera. There were a bunch of cows partying already. So. Yep. Our friends are getting searched right now. Yeah. And. Um, Those all on that one. Yeah. So we're just pulled over waiting for them. And uh, hopefully everything goes okay. I might go back there and see if they need any help or should I just stick just out stay, here? Okay. Because don't want to look fishy. We were. Um, so we got. I don't, I don't even know how you offer these. Like, yeah. we got these for the military checkpoints, but what do we do? You pull up and be like, here, little Debbie, <laughs> before they even go to check. Yeah. I or, don't know. Or afterwards, like, oh, that was very nice. Yeah. Would you like an oatmeal cream pie? <laughs> Thank you for for going through everything that belongs to me in my whole entire existence. Um, here's some dessert for you. <laughs> So, well, we're, I guess we're just a couple short minutes, eight minutes away. Yeah. Oh, they came through faster than what? us. What? Look at that. Wow, they were nice to them. All right. Okay, well, good. We can get the heck out of here. All good? Yep. You guys got it worse than we did. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, here we go. A checkpoint. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Don't be us. We made it to San Ignacio and we parked in the town square. It's safe to park here, to camp here. It's free. And so we've parked. We've got a and this place really is an oasis. I am so excited to see it in the morning when it's daylight out. Because it looks freaking beautiful. Just in the dark. So. <laughs> We're sitting in the plaza and eating dinner at Victor's restaurant. Or restaurant Victor's. And I ordered the fajitas. Like this. Lindsay has fish tacos. And we're going to show you what we eat every meal that we eat so you know exactly what to eat when you're in Baja. Camper's all set up for the night. We're getting ready to get tucked in. We are sleeping in the town square in San Ignacio. Pretty awesome. Looking forward to getting out and exploring it in the morning. So we will see you mañana mañana.